Hello, Scorpio, Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting November 13th, 2017. And as you can hear and see, echoes are happening and lights are not here. I have moved. Um, this is a way bigger office. I've actually got an office in the downstairs of the house that I'm in now. And so um, I'm going to be working on that, but I didn't want these horoscopes to come out late, so we're just going to have to deal with an echo and again a, a light situation this week. Hope that's okay. If you do want to get a session with me though, I am available to take sessions, so you can always do that at my website, integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on with your astrology this week? Well, it's all about Venus in your sign, uh, Scorpio, all week. And with Venus in your sign on Monday, Venus is going to be forming a tight conjunction with Jupiter. Now, whenever we have Venus in our sign, remember, we get the wild card blessings of Venus. We get lots of extra attention, popularity contests seem to always go in our favor, and we're getting a lot of favors from people in general. We're becoming a magnet. Well, Jupiter is putting this on steroids, and we may be attracting a lot of attention to ourselves, a lot of positive attention, mind you. Um, this could actually be a really, really good payoff kind of week, especially if you've been trying to put yourself out there, um, if you've been maybe trying to advertise, you know, or, or do like a marketing campaign for yourself or something that you really care about, if you're trying to attract new partners into your life, if you're trying to open up your social life. Um, you may even find that a lot of people are handing these things out, these opportunities to you. When Jupiter and Venus come together, though, you do tend to see a lot of that extra support. And again, a little bit going a long way when it comes to putting you in the spotlight or getting ears to listen to the message you are broadcasting. On Thursday, Venus is going to form a lovely trine to Neptune, currently retrograde in your fifth house of love and romance and your relationships with your kids. And a suspicion will be confirmed in a good way this week when it comes to perhaps a secret that a lover or maybe uh, one of your children has been keeping under wraps. This may be something that is no big surprise to you, but in the revealing of it, it does bring the two of you closer and tear, a down, tear down a wall. If there is an opportunity for the air to be cleared, this is it. This usually shows up, again, as a wall of theirs or maybe a wall of yours coming down. But whatever this revealing is, it is definitely a strong glue for this connection. So what's going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the Seder. And the Seder, if you look at the text, it just basically reads revelry and indulgence. This is supposed to be a week where you're enjoying a bit of frivolity. All right, this is definitely a week where I think a lot of you Scorpio people will also be on the receive. All right, when we talk about being on the receive, you're going to be getting a lot of gifts, you're going to be getting a lot of opportunities and a lot of fun. And when we talk about the Seder, it's important to let people see you enjoying them. You know, don't make people wait to know whether or not this was a good gift to give you or a good experience to share with you. The Seder card can talk about a need to also pay attention to where more positive reinforcement needs to, you know, be coming from you. How do you encourage a good thing that comes from you? Do you celebrate it? Sometimes it's kind of hard. Uh, what I mean from you, not from you, to you, a good thing that comes to you. Sometimes we get what we want if we had to wait a long time. We're not as visibly happy as we could be. Um, it's not, you know, when it comes to positive reinforcement with people and with the universe, it's extremely important because positive reinforcement keeps the good thing coming. And so with the revelry and indulgence, it's talking about indulging whatever you're getting, but also making sure that you are seen and available to be noticed actually enjoying it. That is itself a form a, of positive reinforcement, but also positively reinforcing the good changes that go on in your life. For your earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, well, we've got the Seven of Cups reversed. And it looks like a commitment is being made or a new contract is being signed if you've been trying to amend the terms of an existing contract at work um, or an existing, I guess you could say, work profile, um, something that you've been trying to change. Maybe you're trying to eliminate something from uh, your job description or from the responsibilities you're being given. and You're trying to get rid of it because it's just not working out for you. It's making it too unpleasant. We finally have that being taken off the table. You don't have to deal with it anymore. 
This can be great news for those of you who are currently looking for a new job as well because this can indicate um, perhaps a, uh, a make or break term uh, will be actually, you know, set up in a way that it makes instead of breaks this job opportunity. You know, sometimes we have those things. It's like, look, I can't work nights, or I can't do this, or I can't do that. And if that's been a, a, a topic of contention, this will be able to fix things up for you very nicely. So, all in all, we're getting off to a wonderful start. For your communications with air. When it comes to your work and finances, well, I'm not your work and finances, your friends and your relatives and the others in your life, we have the Nine of Swords <laughs> upright. Uh, this is somebody else, it's not you, you're having a good week. Um, but usually with the Nine of Swords upright, we do have people acting out. Um, this could be a friend or a relative, and with the Nine of Swords, it is somebody who is freaking out about something that is yet to come to pass. It may never come to pass. Um, but it's what they do in that anxiety, in that anxious moment, that dictates whether or not it substantiates. And, you know, we've all had that, those friends, we've all had those situations where we had to talk them off a ledge. You know, I've had to talk plenty of my friends off ledges before. Look, your relationship's not coming to an end, but if you keep acting like a crazy person and decide to do all this stuff at two in the morning, it will come to an end. You know, it's one of those kinds of energies. And you may have to talk somebody off a ledge this week. The Nine of Swords can indicate somebody being anxious either for, you know, for, for whatever reasons. They're worried about something to come that because, and they feel threatened, or they're feeling guilty or culpability. This is your friend or your relative, though, and so it's going to be up to you to make sure, you know, to get them, you know, at least facing the right direction. You can't decide whether or not they're going to commit to the right path or the right action, but at least get them to face the right direction to make an informed decision. This is probably them. For your challenge this week with fire, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, so we could be having some issues with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, or something with those qualities to them, and the Knight of Swords reversed is panicking. Usually the Knight of Swords reversed can indicate a situation where somebody's, let's say, temperamental uh, disposition has gotten the better of them. And with the Knight of Swords reversed, a lot of it has to do with the fact that they can't really put into words what their grievances are. It's not communicable, um, they may feel it's ineffable, and the idea of just prying it out or trying to get it straightened out is only getting them more and more wound up. And with the Knight of Swords reversed, again, this could be a problem. We could find that we're trying to help somebody out, and then they turn on us. As I always say, and you've heard me say it a million times, when a conversation gets above a seven, throw it away. Stop ever taking anything personally after that point. But make sure, again, we can at least get this person facing the right direction, even if we can't get them to commit down that right path. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we have the death card upright. And the death card is kind of an interesting shift here, because it's an end you do see coming. Okay? Um, now this could be a good transition. I've seen, you know, I mean, when it comes to the death card, this could be the end of a cycle of, uh, of searching. It's the end of an era. It's the end of an era, it's the end of a cycle. If you've been single for a long time, if you've met nobody that you're interested in talking to, the death card upright could indicate an end of that period. You know, and some of you may be actually transitioning into a new relationship or into a new dating scenario that could blossom into a relationship this week. The death card upright, for those of you who are currently coupled, can indicate that the two of you decide to mutually end an era in this relationship. The death card could indicate a situation where some of you are debating uh, where to take things next or what to get rid of. We may mutually agree that we don't want to spend time um, in a certain place anymore or with maybe a certain friendship group or commitment. Some of you with the death card may also be deciding that um, maybe it's time for the two of you to change something about the routine that you just mutually share, dropping something off that itinerary. Either way, it's the smallest of changes, but it makes the biggest of differences. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.